Hi, I'm Craig Roberts. Now I often get comments and emails asking if I could do more local landscapes along the lines of not everyone can get to the mountains or the coast, which is fair enough, but I suppose it depends where you live. So what if you don't have great scenery nearby? What if you live miles from the sea? Well, yes, it's true. You do have to travel for landscape photography. It's just the way it is, but there's always great shots to be had close to home as well, no matter where you are. So to prove that point, today I thought I would show you some landscapes close to me. Two locations within 10 minutes of walking of my home, just to show you what I capture when I'm not going to more scenic places. The advantage of these is that I can obviously visit them at any time of the day in any season because they're so easily accessible. So let's put a timer on the screen and see how close these locations really are. Location 1. Morning. Morning. So this is my local tree, and I call it my Michael Kenner tree. So I've captured this in summer and in winter, and both with digital cameras and with my Holger and Lubital film cameras. Well, I've mostly captured it in a square format. It does actually suit that format, but it's also to avoid including the uh, housing estate and the pylons on the extremes but it's making the most of what I have here. It's a great subject, but it's a simple subject, and it is in between a housing estate and a busy road, so I have to make the most of that. And here's my examples. So that's location number one. So let's put the timer on the screen again and head off to location number two. Well that was even closer to home, just over a five minute walk, and here I've got another tree and an open field. So I have another lone tree here, different shape but same principle, and I've photographed this in many different ways in many different seasons. So again, not much breathing space either side. You've got pylons on one side, housing estate on the other side. So I have to be selective with my compositions.
So on the left I have a, an open field which has different crops in different years, but it's still making the most of this location. This could be anywhere, but I've also shot it in the different ways with different techniques, using a, a wide aperture, lens wide open for a shallow depth of field effect, just for something a bit different. And this isn't a glamorous location, this is just South Yorkshire. And if you're not from the UK, the equivalent is, well, South Yorkshire. So these have often been my summer landscapes with the crops. And one year I was fortunate enough to get some poppies, which gave a different perspective to this location. And I have actually used this tree for one of my E6 videos where I shot it throughout the day from dawn to dusk just to show how light affects the landscape throughout the day. So that's my local patch, my local landscape. Nothing special, just very simple landscapes. But I can use their locality to experiment with different seasons and times of day, practice some new techniques and perfect my skills ready for some more dramatic scenery it should be a cinch compared to those. So no excuses then, everyone has a local patch, everyone's is different, but all will have potential for some great shots. So you've just got to get out there and make the best of what you have.